1906, a psychiatrist and neuroanatomist named Alois Alzheimer reported his findings from examining the brain of a woman who experienced rapid memory loss and confusion in the years leading up to her death. He noted distinctive abnormal patterns of protein buildup in her brain. What he discovered eventually became known as Alzheimer's disease. This disease affects millions worldwide and is one of the leading causes of death in individuals over the age of 65 in the US alone. In an effort to stop Alzheimer's in its tracks, billions have been poured into research. Unfortunately, not every effort to investigate this disease was done ethically, leading to incidents of potential data fabrication. So how deep do these fabricated details go and what are the ramifications for the future of Alzheimer's research? To understand the depth of this Alzheimer's research fraud, we need to first take a step back and understand the pathophysiology of this disease. In our body, there is a protein called amyloid beta precursor protein which is found in the cell membrane and is especially present within our neurons. When amyloid beta precursor protein is broken down, it forms a product called beta amyloid. In Alzheimer's, these beta amyloid proteins build up at abnormal levels and can clump together leading to the loss of normal neuron function. Additionally, abnormal clumps of tau proteins, which normally stabilize important structural components of the neurons called microtubules, are also present. These buildup of amyloid beta proteins and tau proteins, the mechanism of which is still not fully understood, are commonly referred to as the plaques and tangles seen when examining the brains of Alzheimer's patients under a microscope. There are different types of beta amyloid fragments in the body. In 2006, a paper published in the prestigious journal Nature reported that a specific variant called amyloid beta 56 was the prime culprit behind Alzheimer's disease when analyzing mice models. This paper made waves within the neuroscience community, being cited by over 2300 other research papers. However, in 2022, suspicions arose about the validity of that paper when image analysis experts suspected that some of the images of the experiment's western blots, a method used by scientists to analyze protein fragments, were fabricated. Additionally, when other scientists tried replicating the experiment, they all failed to reproduce the same results as the original paper. With the existence of amyloid beta 56 called into question, what are the ramifications? While amyloid beta 56 didn't directly lead to clinical trials, it did spark more research in targeting amyloid proteins. Unfortunately, many drug trials aimed at targeting amyloid protein failed, leading many to wonder if the amyloid hypothesis is the right approach. It is worth mentioning that in recent years, the FDA has approved certain drugs that function as monoclonal antibodies against amyloid beta proteins, allowing the body's immune system to clear them out. However, these medications are only indicated for very early stages of the disease and merely slow its progression rather than stopping or reversing it. To enhance treatment effectiveness, it is crucial to investigate other aspects of Alzheimer's disease given its numerous intricate mechanisms. For example, one study showed that promoting higher levels of soluble amyloid beta-42 was associated with normal cognition, even among individuals with genetic mutations that cause Alzheimer's. So looking into creating more soluble forms of beta amyloid in genetically predisposed individuals could potentially create better outcomes, though far more research is needed in order to verify that conclusion as this is just only one experiment. If we are to develop a treatment that can stop the disease in its tracks and even potentially reverse it, we might need to look beyond the beta amyloid buildup. There's still a lot about the pathophysiology of Alzheimer's disease that we don't know and need to explore further. While this scandal may have been a setback, it underscored the importance of holding the scientific method to rigorous standards. With billions of dollars being poured into Alzheimer's research, it's vital that every penny is spent on research based on verified and proven results. It's not just the public trust in our scientists that's at stake but also the lives of millions afflicted by this disease and their families. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more science videos.